My name is Khalfan bin Hablin. I'm from the United Arab Emirates and I go to Gems Al Khalid National School. My project is basically an unmanned air vehicle that can detect and extinguish fires in remote areas. The thing is that it only extinguishes minor fires and it has to be in a remote area, it can't be in a city. The, uh, the reason behind this project or the purpose is where I come from we have farms and we have uh, houses in the middle of the desert and if those houses were to catch fire then to take a uh, fire department to dispatch a helicopter about 30 to 40 minutes and by the time the, the fire department or the firefighters reach the location the minor fire would have escalated to a major fire and the purpose of this project is to circumvent the escalation of a minor fire, of a, ma of a minor fire to a major fire. So we're trying to uh, get there as quick and as fast as possible. Now, uh, the, the, the method is that the aircraft would take off manually, it would fly autonomously to the target, and it, the, the instance it reaches the target, it's gonna, we're going to change the mode to manual, and it's going to detect where the fire is, and it's going to drop its load on the uh, fire. That's the uh, method of uh, detecting and extinguishing a fire. So the project itself, uh, it's finished. I already built the airplane, I assembled the parts, and I tested it, I tested it, I, I fine-tuned it. But the prototype, it's still prototype zero, you know? It's, uh, <laughs> there's a long way to go. But uh, in terms of ISIF and how ISIF could have ISIF helped me in, uh, in further developing my project is that I was exposed to so many ideas, so many great minds from all from 75 countries uh, across the entire uh, uh, world, and and it was uh, the exposure provided me with ideas to further develop my project, not only in terms of. Uh, just firefighting and fire detecting, but also in terms of uh, the aerodynamics of the aircraft, uh, low altitude flight, uh, uh, con consistent flight, long uh, long battery life, and all sorts of stuff that that can not only uh, not only can I uh, take advantage of that exposure, but also the people that are in the UAE projects that are in the UAE, they all could. Uh, uh, take the, those ideas and put them in their projects to make them even better. Highlight was the judging day because starting from day one I was just constantly constantly waiting for the judging day. I just they were telling me it's scary they were telling me that um, that they're gonna grill you they're gonna make you uh, they're gonna make you I don't know they're gonna make you cry or something. Some girls actually cried by the way <laughs> but uh, it turned out to be uh, really easy you know but only one judge was like kind of he grilled me, yeah, I, I could say that he grilled me, but the rest of the judges were all cool, they were all sweet and welcoming. My name is Maryam Al Hashimi, I'm from an Etihad private school in the UAE, and my project is about solar energy and plastic, basically plastic photocell, transparent solar cells and conductive paint. For the future, I would like to go commercial and market my products for the world, because I believe this is an innovation that redefines solar energy to a greener future ahead. My my current highlight for the Intel ISEF is actually meeting a lot of people from different cultures, from different countries and actually being able to interact with them and learn a lot from everyone. And as well as that, I guess the patience of being able to sit there and actually wait for your project to be recognized, that's what makes it actually something really special to be here. I mean, people looking at your project, appreciating it, that's what makes you feel really happy to be here. The trip was really tiring, 19 hour flight, I'm presuming. It was very, very tiring, but it was worth it. And and I guess uh, out of all of this, um, the Intel ISEF made us learn a lot of new things. The conferences, the lectures, the experience on its own is something so great to us. I'd like to actually thank all of our teachers who helped us actually come here and do these things because without them we wouldn't be here and Emirates Foundation for bringing us here and as well as that I would like to recommend to everyone that you should do what you want to do even if it's such a small idea you can go viral I mean you can do anything just go after what you dream for and it'll happen